Welcome to Electron Online, and now to see if we relearned what we're supposed to learn with our trigonometric identities and how to use the sine, the cosine, and the tangent, and so forth, let's do some what we call application problems. So let's say we have a flagpole, and we're wondering how high the flagpole is. If we notice that it casts a shadow due to the sun shining down, the shadow is 128 feet long. Then we pull out a little protractor, and we check the angle, and we notice the angle is 24 degrees from the ground, from the tip of the shadow to the top of the flagpole. So from that, we should be able to figure out what the height of the flagpole is. Now notice, here's the angle theta. We're looking for the opposite side, and we know the adjacent side. So what trigonometric identity relates the opposite side, the adjacent side, and the angle? The tangent of theta. So we say to ourselves, the tangent of theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And so in this case, uh, we're looking for the opposite side. So we can say that the opposite side is equal to the adjacent side multiplied times the tangent of theta. And so the opposite side is h. The adjacent side is 128 feet. And we multiply that times the tangent of 24 degrees. All right. And then, of course, you need a calculator. So 128 times... 24, take the tangent of that, equals, and it's 57 feet. So that means the height of the flagpole equals 57 feet. And that's how we do that. So you can see how powerful these functions are. And that's typically how they're used.